Have you ever wondered if there was a civilization that existed before recorded history and was more advanced than ours? A civilization that could build monumental and precise structures around the world, that could travel across the oceans and continents, that could understand the secrets of the stars and the earth, and that could influence and teach other cultures. This may sound like a fantasy or a conspiracy theory, but there is some evidence that suggests that such a civilization may have existed and left behind some clues and mysteries that challenge our conventional theories of history and archaeology. The steppe pyramids were one of the most striking features of this ancient civilization. Their preference for building pyramidal structures with flat platforms on each level. These structures are found in different parts of the world, such as Mexico, Egypt and Cambodia. They're usually associated with different cultures and times, but they have some common features that suggest a possible connection or influence. For example, the Chichen Itza complex in Mexico, the Pyramid of Josa in Egypt, and the Beikong Sanctuary in Cambodia all have similar shapes, sizes, and orientations. They also have some astronomical alignments with celestial bodies such as the sun, the moon, and the stars. How did these ancient people build such monumental and precise structures without modern technology and tools? Some researchers think that these pyramids were built by representatives of the same ancient advanced civilization that could easily cross the oceans and share their knowledge and skills with other cultures. Another mysterious structure that is related to this ancient civilization is the Serpent Mound in Ohio, USA. This is a long earthen mound that resembles a snake. It is thought to have been built by the Fort Ancient Culture around 1000 BC, but some evidence suggests that it could be much older and related to an ancient meteorite impact crater. In this place, compass needles practically go wild. Only 100 years ago were survivors able to determine the cardinal points of the Serpent Mound correctly. For example, the head of the serpent aligns with the summer solstice sunset, and the curves of the mound serve as an astronomical calendar. The mound also rests on the ridge of an ancient meteorite impact crater that has a powerful magnetic anomaly. Centuries ago, ancient civilizations possessed impressive knowledge of construction and astronomy. They may have even explored faraway lands as hinted by some ancient maps. For example, a map from 1513 shows Antarctica, a continent not officially discovered by seafarers until 300 years later. The map accurately outlines the coastline of Antarctica, now hidden beneath the ice. This raises the intriguing possibility, could these ancient people have ventured to Antarctica long before we did? An interesting theory suggests that a massive pyramid in Antarctica could be the remains of an advanced ancient civilization. The person who created the mysterious map claimed to have copied it from an ancient document housed in the Library of Alexandria near the Great Pyramid of Giza. Perhaps these ancient builders left detailed instructions for their descendants, but over time those instructions got lost. The map's accuracy in depicting South America, a continent that wasn't well known back then, is also fascinating. It shows mountains, rivers and lakes, suggesting someone not only saw it from the sea, but also explored its interior. However, there are some inconsistencies on the map, like a small isthmus connecting South America to Antarctica. Could it be possible that tens of thousands of years ago, these continents were indeed connected? Some researchers have discovered many pyramids in South America, hinting that advanced architectural skills might have been passed down to Native Americans and later adopted by their civilizations. Not everyone agrees with the theory of pyramids in Antarctica, as geologists argue that the structures are a result of specific erosion. Nevertheless, there are numerous ancient human-made monuments worldwide, and they share striking similarities. For instance, the ruins of the Gunung Padang Temple on an Indonesian island were once a pyramid. Radiocarbon analysis suggests it could be much older than previously thought, pushing its construction date back by another 20,000 years. Scientists argue that during that time, the Earth was experiencing the most severe phase of the last glacial period, making it unlikely for people to create enormous structures. However, some wonder if we are limiting our understanding 
by fitting Gunung Padang into our conventional history. The Ice Age may not have been as daunting for an advanced civilization as it was for hunter-gatherers. Another factor that affects the existence and disappearance of this ancient civilization is its exposure to various natural disasters and cataclysms that could have caused massive destruction and extinction in the past. Some examples are meteorite impacts, volcanic eruptions, and floods. Some researchers think that these catastrophes could have wiped out or damaged an advanced ancient civilization that existed before recorded history. Some myths and legends could be based on the memories of these catastrophes. Let's imagine that representatives from an ancient civilization effortlessly traversed vast oceans to impart their wisdom to primitive societies. If this concept holds, it implies they accomplished feats similar to those achieved in the 20th century. However, contemplating the disappearance of such a society raises the question of its disappearance without any trace. Recently, a group of American scientists unveiled findings from the excavations near Tall El Hammam in Jordan. They unearthed a layer of soil, roughly one and a half meters thick, composed entirely of charred organic matter, ashes, and fragmented bones. This seemed to be the aftermath of a cosmic event around 1650 BC. This settlement was instantly eradicated by a previously unknown meteorite explosion. Scholars scoured records for this event and unearthed narratives from the Bible depicting the annihilation of Sodom and Gomorrah by celestial fire. This implies that myths occasionally hold elements of truth. Though this catastrophe might not have wiped out an entire civilization, it serves as a reminder of an ancient legend, the Great Flood. This narrative appears not only in the Bible, but also in the folklore of Native American groups and Australian Aborigines. Interestingly, ancient Finns link this event to the world's end. For example, there is a legend about the Great Flood that can be found in many cultures and religions around the world, such as the Bible, the Quran, the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Popol Vuh, and the Edas. The legend tells about a time when the world got flooded, and only a few people and animals survived by building a boat or an ark. Some researchers think that this legend could be based on a real event that occurred around 13 to 15,000 years ago when a large comet or asteroid hit the ice sheet in North America and caused a global flood. This flood could have destroyed or disrupted an ancient advanced civilization that existed before recorded history. Should the Great Flood have indeed impacted the entire globe, a story suggests, even an advanced civilization would have confronted formidable challenges. Roughly 13 to 15,000 years ago, Earth underwent a period known as the Cataclysmic Period, marked by worldwide storms. What triggered this era of chaos? Soil samples from the epoch reveal deposits of nanodiamonds. These minuscule crystals form upon the collision of comets or asteroids with significant force. Therefore, if the flood resulted from such an impact, where did it strike? Richard Firestone, a chemist at the Lawrence Barclay National Laboratory, uncovered numerous nanodiamonds in North American soil. At that time, Canada was enveloped in ice. A comet striking this icy barrier could have melted a substantial portion of the ice, unleashing massive waves and a global deluge. However, it remains uncertain whether this could have eradicated an entire civilization. If a handful of survivors did endure, they might have dispersed across the world, sharing their knowledge with less advanced societies while endeavoring to reconstruct their past achievements. Interestingly, these survivors might have been responsible for the construction of Gobekli Tepe. As the rest of humanity struggled for survival, this group possessed advanced technology. Yet, if these survivors erected such a monumental structure amidst the turmoil, it raises inquiries about their accomplishments. This prompts us to ponder the discovery of advanced technologies and whether our modern society might overestimate their significance. Were our civilization to abruptly vanish, merely two centuries would suffice for our cultivated plants to wither away. Our cities would eventually disappear, leaving behind only colossal stones. Recent discoveries also align with this theme. The Bimini underwater road near the Bahamas, often dubbed the road to Atlantis, comprises limestone blocks and spans over 700 meters. 
Nonetheless, its origin remains a mystery. Could this ancient civilization have erected such roads worldwide when sea levels were lower before the Great Flood? This notion isn't as far-fetched as it seems, given that antiquated maps hint at voyages from ice-free Antarctica to other continents. Perhaps with time, the ice will reveal ancient cities concealed beneath its icy depths. Nevertheless, even in the presence of advanced ancient civilizations, a major mystery arises. If our civilization were to crumble, the glass and plastic waste from our structures would persist for 15 million years. Interestingly, within tens of thousands of years, signs akin to those we speculate about could manifest or not too. It is possible that the ancient civilizations managed to find it and detected how harmful it would have been to civilization. These ancient civilizations may not be entirely different from us, we just may be missing the necessary signs due to prejudice. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.